Hey there everyone and welcome to another Factorial Reddit Weekly. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me for this one. Uh, we did miss last week. Uh, I was uh, going up to my parents for my mom's birthday and uh, the, the day the Reddit Weekly would come out was the day I was going up there. Uh, so I didn't have time and then the next day was uh, her birthday. So we missed it unfortunately. Uh, sorry about that but I am excited to be back. Uh, not sure I'm excited about this first post because I can already tell it's something that is crooked. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, drives me a little bit nuts. Um, so we'll hop into here, uh, my copper wire production unit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that Angels has actual copper wire rules. In reality, it mainly makes me cry. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they are like making these to go to circuits or they made this whole thing just for this picture, but I'm not sure. I appreciate the ingenuity, but I'm with the biters for this one. <laughs> I love this comment. Oh, man. Chain signals are overrated. I don't know if this person's joking. I hope they're joking. It looks like they're joking. This is indeed not safe for work content. It basically guarantees the train is always pre present to end you if you even think of crossing. Yeah, basically. Um... More chest and wires for probably to connect the first signals with the last so that a train doesn't start going through if they, the way isn't clear. Uh, I mean, this is super fascinating to watch, for sure. Terrifying. Interesting way of doing it, though. My day is ruined. For mining drill cannot mine this resource. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it requires fluid. Nuclear fuel powering burner inserters and intended for burner mining drills. That feels so wrong. That is true. Uh, let's see here. This single screenshot is the most beautiful, not safe for the thing I've seen in a long time. The preparation, the setup, very beautiful. <laughs> I can see why I ruined their day, though. I mean, going through all this work just to see that it can't work, can't do it is uh, pretty disheartening. If you place air filters around the outer edge of your factory, the trees will stay alive too. Oh, it's one of those. Um, place air filters. So I assume this is, oh yeah, this is obviously modded. Um, this looks like, is this from Crestorio? Space exploration? This is, this is space exploration. It could be Crestorio too, honestly. Uh, this is really cool. I love that they left the trees. Uh, when you don't decimate landscape, it almost doesn't look like the same game. Yeah, it uh, it really does make it look quite different. Um, I really like it. it. It's honestly just a pain to build with the trees still there. Mom, can we get city skylines? We have city lines at home. The city skylines at home. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> limiting chess is a good idea. I mean, I don't know. That seems like a pretty good Spidertron army to me. Uh, very expensive, uh, so yeah, limiting chests is usually good, but of all the things you could forget to limit, Spidertrons isn't the worst. It's definitely one of the more costly, but it's not like you can't do something with all of these. This is uh, one hell of an army, if you ask me. Yeah, basically this comment right here. Update, 25% to my 1 million rocket goal. 250,000 rockets. That is a lot. Uh, it's actually, like, really hard to fathom. Um, when you consider, I mean, that's just insane. Like, even if you're launching, like, a few rockets a minute, which I'm sure they are, that they almost had to be, right? But, I mean, maybe not. If this is their only silo, then they're then they're not even launching one a minute, technically. Uh, here's some more, though. So, uh, five, potentially four or five rockets a minute, maybe? Overall, that is a pretty huge milestone to reach, uh, even just the 250k. I like the optimism of the 10-digit display. <laughs> I think we'll be done when I get to 1 mil, but you never know. I think after this, I might check out mods. Man, they, they haven't even tried out mods before this. Crazy. This shows how much you can just play the base game. Use machine learning something I don't understand. This part I don't understand. To synthesize... Some factorial art details and comments. 
Okay, that's really cool. I would definitely, like, post this. Like, like make a poster of this and have it on my wall. This is definitely something I'd hang on my wall. Uh, reminds me of the mod that allows you to put belts wherever rather than in a grid. That is seven cursed. <laughs> Need a link to that. Placeable off-grid. Interesting. Uh, that's really neat. Uh, I'm building a bot base, mega base, but honestly, things are getting a bit silly. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, my uh, guess here is that their bot, make, bot base, mega base is one entire bot network by the looks of it, uh, because the fact that these bots seem to be flying all over the place. Um, so that that is the thing. Uh, building bot bases can be really great and really efficient, but they can also become incredibly bad and incredibly inefficient uh, if you build a base where the network spans the entire base and you don't separate them into separate small networks. Does your computer not choke? <laughs> Uh, if you can handle the frames, the most important thing to a bot mega base is recharging. Well, yeah, recharging would help, but still also separating the networks would probably help a lot. Your mouse cursor is gone, you'll never be able to find it again. That is so true. Oh, man, that is so true. I'm pretty new to the game, and this is my first original setup. It's small, but I'm proud of it. This is a really clean-looking setup. I like this a lot. Definitely, it's honestly way cleaner than I build. Like this is, this is pretty, uh, pretty nice, organized, making a very nice uh, variety of things here. Now go out and make use of those munitions. <laughs> yes, yes. A friendly di diplomatic talk with some native biters. Carefully relocate the native population. Yes, into their next life. Uh, if you want to equip your spiratron, don't use explosive rockets. Uh, the standard rockets deal better point damage and don't kill your spider tron. Is this true? I mean, they deal better point damage, but they don't deal splash damage. Um, yeah, the red ones work really well when clearing swarms of biters, because if you get your rocket damage high enough, um, it can kill a, a big swath of them because of the AoE. Uh, the utility of mass orbital fish extraction. Say what? Theoretical 45 fish per second implementation. Okay. This is nuts. Dude, this is insane. Can you imagine actually building a base that would support that? This is nuts. Super cool to watch. Been on the sublock time and I can probably say it's my favorite post title included. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. Working on my first mega base and just finished my lab setup cell. Probably not the most optimal, but I'm happy with how it turned out, especially the map view of the power poles. Dang it. Oh, this is nice. Oh my goodness, it like actually makes me a little dizzy, but I, I don't dislike it at all. It's super cool. Um, are the four labs in the middle missing productivity modules because I can't see them? I can't see anything. Uh, oh yeah, these are missing prod mods. It's a nice setup though. Taking advantage of running belts uh, both directions is, I mean, you almost have to do that. I don't know if you have to. You might have to. Damn it. <laughs> Um, this is, this is really nice. This is going to do some serious science. Very well done. It ain't pretty, but it works. I mean, I would say this looks pretty good. <laughs> like, this looks really good. Looks pretty pretty to me. That's exactly what I was thinking. Strongest shape. <laughs> um, yeah, this is like really nice looking. The rainbow of sciences, 
even kind of the rail. I mean, I'm not a fan of like this, but really, really good. So here's a question. Uh, I'm new to this game. Is this overkill? Yay or nay? I'm excited to see what happens, but I, but do I need to build more defense? All right, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, no, well, wait, 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 wait. You're new to the game, but they're playing with mods, I think, right? Hold up. That. That's a mod, right? I don't know what this is, but it's not vanilla. Our to-do list. Oh, no. No, this is a campaign. This is the tutorial thing. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Um, I mean, this is a lot of defense. It is overkill, but it's not bad. Like... I don't, I don't know that you can really overkill very much in Factorio. I'm pretty sure it's not a real thing. Should keep you safe, for a while at least. Yeah, I mean, the good news is you really don't have to worry about attacks at all because they're just going to get evaporated. It's spaghetti, but it's mine automated green for the first time, able to scale out horizontally and vertically with manual blueprints. Hmm, very nice. I like this. Yeah, because you could scale the production of this up, and you can scale, and then you can build this out to the left. When do you unlock the automatic placement of blueprints? I've seen them all over, but there were no drones in the tutorials. Yes, you would need to research construction bots, blue science. So not too far off. A couple sciences. I think they could just skip military and then just go to blue from here. Obviously quite a bit more complicated, but I like this setup a lot. Uh, creating a rotating circle of Spider-Trons. Oh gosh, <laughs> oh, making me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I hate spiders. One gay Spider-Tron base defense win, <laughs> right? Cue the interstellar music. Let's try spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> oh man. I saw a post about mining uranium with a burner miner. So naturally, I made my first mod. It's on the portal under the name No Sulfur Uranium. Link in comments. So there you go. I love that someone saw the post, made a mod to fix it. Uh, I, I think actually quite a few people will use this. You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you just want to stay on partner tech. You know, a lot of people do that type of challenge and you want to be able to mine uranium. So... Would not be better to allow burner miners to accept sulfur. Yeah, that's actually true. Yes, but unfortunately, any requirement of sulfur to a burner inserter is much harder than removing requirement of sulfur from uranium. Okay, interesting. I actually would not have thought that. Checked out an old over-engineered build and discovered I made a chain signal, but with a combinator instead. Mm, we had to do this on our uh, 0 015 simulation playthrough way back when. We had to kind of make our own chain signals. Actually, although maybe there were chain signals, but we still had to do a bunch of combinator stuff. <clears throat> so when the signal at the station is red, the signal before also goes red. Why didn't I just use a chain signal? Good question. Because <laughs> obviously uh, I would, you know, there's a Spider-Tron, so chain signals are in the game at this point. Um, still pretty cool. It's very simple implementation, it looks like. One combinator there. Proud on my first neat looking production lines. Hmm, this is very nice. I like how they've done the water here too. Uh, probably I would have done it, I would have spun these so they output on the same line and then have the water come in the other side. But I think this is actually potentially better because you're not having to run the waterway over there. Looks like a overload of inserters, though. If you give every machine one inserter's output, because that last machine will also ensure a full belt. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. That's a ton of inserters. Holy moly. Uh, still, really good. This bad boy can fit so many green circuits. That is a lot of green circuit production. I forgot to slap it. <laughs> Four belts of iron, eight belts of copper. That's a decent amount of... Throughput, uh, but you're not getting anywhere near 16 belts of output. 
even cut in half, you'd still be strongly iron starved. Uh, yeah, so this is probably like just backed up, but still. Uh, I mean, the thing is, like, I think this is still because even if you're not getting this many lanes, uh, the way they design this, each build outputs like, like there's a, a lane, even though it's not full, there's a lane coming from each line of this. Uh, so even though each one of these wouldn't be full if it's on full drain, um, sending them into a balancer to then output however many you're actually getting um, is still, I think, in my opinion, the best way to do it because it's just kind of going to ensure that you have balanced lanes, um, however many it may actually be producing, if that makes sense. Um, you know, kind of like if you have like two belts from a uh, outpost, but you're feeding like a four cargo wagon train, at least personally, I send those two belts through a four belt balancer um, and send out four belts is kind of, it's actually kind of the opposite, but you get the gist, right? Like those four belts aren't going to be full, but it's going to be evenly split between the four belts. Um, so why is this happening? My petroleum is fluctuating insanely and it seems like it isn't pumping fast enough. This is my first time doing this. So I have no idea what it might be. Uh, my guess is going to be, uh, factorial liquids. <laughs> um, okay. Well, Let's see. So the second pump isn't working. That that's not the issue. But uh, by the looks of it, I'm gonna say there's a petroleum shortage or not petroleum oil crude shortage because like this one isn't even working. Uh, so the fact this one wasn't even working would say to me it's not getting enough crude. I mean, and it fluctuates just because you know there's a production cycle, right? So there's gonna be a time when it's not actually producing anything. Although it looks like this does have crude. I mean, we just took a minute to turn on. Um, but yeah, this is basically what I said. Um, so the pipe can all weigh more than three so you don't have a steady flow. Put some source shanks between the production and pick up for a good buffer and add a ton of refineries as well. Three is nothing. Yeah, also the fact they didn't have a storage tank. Um, putting one storage tank would be good. And then way more refineries. This is my green circuit build. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I love the build. Mostly not a fan of the squiggly belts or building on the uranium patch. <laughs> Just an ore patch in general, not not there's something specifically against uranium. Um, the bills themselves, I really like though. This is this is some good stuff. Definitely some serious, serious circuit output right there. Today I learned long inserter can reach around obstacles seen on the pick. Long inserter picking from chest behind electric pole. Yep, that is nice. Uh, and like long inserters can reach other over long other long inserters. So like you see those bills sometimes where you have like two directly in a row. <laughs> uh, every single playthrough this time, so every single playthrough this time, I'll make everything nice and orderly two hours later. Yet yeah, this is almost, this is me like every single time. <laughs> this is me basically every single time I play. Did you know you can put item filters on splitters? Yes. And inserters can grab drop from splitters too. That's a good point. It's clean to me. <laughs> Cover wire on the belt for greens. No, no, no. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Yikes. <laughs> uh, tip for mini inputs, simple and compact. Now, this is a good strategy to employ using uh, kind of the in and out type of curvy belt deal here. Cause then you can do your undergrounds and still have, so, so yeah, this is a lot. I mean, cause actually if you see, this is a total of uh, five different belts. I'm not sure why there's inserters and ore on one of the belts, but okay. Or any of this, they must be doing the recipe randomizer or something. Interesting. Uh, can't find the inverse Factorio anymore. A couple months back, I saw a video on a game that seems similar to Factorio, but your task was to re-green the planet, probably because of some of you guys escalated on a factory. Uh, I think it was an indie game, also still in development. You would build rivers and forests, basically terraform the wasteland. My girlfriend is 
not so much in destroying planets, so can you guys help me out? I would have I wouldn't have the time to find a new one. My factories must grow. <laughs> I like how they're just like, yeah, I gotta grow my factories, destroy the planet, and then their girlfriend is just complete opposite. But uh, here's the game. Uh, so this is actually, I don't know. I'd be interested in checking this out, maybe. So not out yet. First city builder about ecosystem reconstruction, turn a barren wasteland to an ecological paradise, complete with different flora, fauna. Oh, this is, uh, I kind of like this. I don't know, TBA release. I don't know, maybe this is like, uh, I mean, the latest update was in June, so that's slightly concerning. There's a demo. Uh, all right, let's see here. Why does this long-handed inserter on the left work faster? Wait, what? Uh, dumb me here thinking the long inserters were placed horizontally instead of vertically. <laughs> huh. Belt and inserter interactions are very complicated when you start to look at them closely. Usually it's not an issue, but with high throughput, fast recipes, beacon setups, it starts to matter. Interesting. The effect inserter picking speed, belt saturation, belt speed, yellow, red, blue, lean and side balance, shape of the belt. Bends underground versus splitter versus regular belt. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot that goes into that. Uh, let's see. Let's look at one more here. Exploring. Um. Okay. Artillery exploration always fun. Laggy but fun. Nice. I kind of want to look at this post really quick. I'm a filthy engineer now, bought the game, and holy hell, I've never enjoyed getting hit on by bugs so much. Uh, as, I won't judge your fetish as long as the factory grows. Judging that fetish. Oh my gosh. One of us, one of us. Very cool. Well, welcome to the team of addicts. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to do it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Some really great stuff this week. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't miss last week, but the good news is everything was fresh this week. No overlap. Uh, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, like is appreciated. As always, share your thoughts down below. I do uh, enjoy seeing what you all have to say. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to keep up with all future content. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.